guys have been an innovator in video game development ever since the 8-bit era, and many gaming trends that we have witnessed throughout the years can be traced back to this prolific company. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Konami video games. <laughs> X-Men, welcome to die! For this list, we're sticking to our usual one game per franchise rule, and the games have to not only be published by Konami, but also developed either in-house or by a subsidiary development team. But enough talk! How about you? Number 10, Frogger. We're kicking things off with an arcade classic, a game that's easy to understand, but difficult to master. The player must guide a frog through lanes of fast moving cars and jump over debris in a river in order to advance to the next level. It might seem simple compared to other entries on the list, but at the time, Frogger was regarded as one of the best and most innovative arcade games around. The game has been ported dozens of times over, but nothing sizes up to the original. It's so iconic that it's even featured in its own episode of Seinfeld. Number 9. Pro Evolution Soccer Series. And there's a goal! Oh my. Brilliant! Also known as Winning Eleven, the Pro Evolution Soccer Series is one of the best selling sports franchises of all time. Rasikudos. Cast under the looming shadow of EA Sports' FIFA series ever since its inception, this extremely popular soccer series has had to make do without some of the major licenses in some of its early iterations. But Konami makes up for this by consistently putting out some of the most playable, fun, and rewarding football games on the market. Fantastic. Go. Number 8, Suikoden 2. The Suikoden series is usually overlooked by all but the most diehard RPG fans. Yet, Suyukoden 2 is often considered the pinnacle of a beloved franchise to those who know it. Deftly mixing political intrigue with heart-wrenching emotional journey, this sequel weaves a memorable story based around betrayal and family. With fast-paced combat, comprehensive war simulation segments, and over 100 playable characters to find and recruit, Suyukoden 2 is a real RPG gem. Number 7, Gradius 5. The original Gradius, released for arcade in 1985, was a side-scrolling space shooter that implemented a complex weapon system. And Konami continued to refine and develop the Gradius formula until coming upon Gradius 5, developed by legendary shoot-em-up icons, Treasure. Adding a fresh coat of paint to the punishing challenge of the previous entries, and pushing the PlayStation 2 to its limits in terms of what you could fit on screen, Gradius V is the crowning achievement in this storied franchise. Number 6. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag! The Ninja Turtles was, by and large, one of the most popular names in the late 80s and early 90s, and Konami's charm made the series into a fantastic side-scrolling beat-em-up. Laying the groundwork in the original arcade game, it was refined to perfection with improved graphics, controls, and new depth of gameplay, such as giving the turtles the ability to throw enemies at the screen, while simultaneously sending our beloved heroes in a half shell careening through time. Prehistoric Turtle Saurus! Bebop and Rocksteady in pirate costumes? Sure, why not? <laughs> Number 5 Dance Dance Revolution Series. With dozens of different iterations, is there a more quintessential arcade experience than Dance Dance Revolution? Combining a frenetic rhythm game with a physical peripheral, the legendary dance pad, DDR had downstairs neighbors frantically banging on their ceilings when it was ported to home consoles in 2001. This is a game that was as noted for its hardcore gameplay and user base as it was for breaking into mainstream pop culture, and one of those games that makes your jaw drop when you see someone beat those really difficult songs. Number 4, Contra 3, The Alien Wars. The original Contra was a brutally difficult run-and-gun game that exposed many gamers to the infamous Konami code. Contra 3, The Alien Wars brought alien warfare to the SNES, incorporating better graphics and new overhead shooting segments. Widely accepted as one of the best and most challenging co-op games on the Super Nintendo, Contra 3 dialed up the fun factor, all while ensuring that you would die many, many times on your way to thwarting the dastardly alien faction known as Red Falcon. Number 3, 
Silent Hill 2. One of the most highly praised survival horror games ever. Silent Hill 2 upgraded its terrifying predecessor and threw us into the distorted psyche of its protagonist, a man named James Sunderland, as he attempts to discover the source of a letter he received from his deceased wife. I see that town. Silent Hill. With some of the most disturbing enemy and environment designs ever seen in a video game, Silent Hill 2 tackled taboo topics such as abuse while painting a bleak and horrifying picture that seized the attention of players and critics everywhere. Number 2, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Your words are as empty as your soul. The original Castlevania was a revolutionary, straightforward, fun action platformer. Symphony of the Night, however, totally revolutionized the series. Boasting a moody, mysterious protagonist named Alucard, RPG elements previously unseen in the Castlevania series, and an absolutely massive castle brimming with secrets to find and bosses to conquer, Symphony of the Night was a near-perfect combination of role-playing and action elements. Death in the dream world will set your soul wandering for eternity, demon. It took the foundation that Super Metroid had laid out and built a mansion on top of them to give birth to a whole new genre, Metroidvania. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Battle Number 1. Metal Gear Solid Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation was a true gaming masterpiece. Hiding won't help you. It mixed a mature, complex storyline with unparalleled stealth action gameplay, as you guide Solid Snake through the Alaskan military facility Shadow Moses Island. It's credited as the origin of the stealth genre, and is one of the first games to feel like a AAA Hollywood blockbuster, thanks to memorable characters, boss battles, and plot twists galore. I can read your every thought. Though Snake Eater came close to taking this slot, the first game is still the easiest to follow, and that's what ensures that it's the best. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. Agree with our list? A yellow card. What's your favorite Konami game? For more entertaining top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.